Hey, what's up guys? It's Kevin from KN Media and today we'll be unboxing the Manfrotto 494 RC2 ball head. So, without further ado, let's open this up. All right, so we are very excited about this because we'll be using it with our uh, brand new Canova K2 slider that we just got. It's gonna be incredible with this. And we needed a ball head because with any other type of head, if you were to put the slider on an angle, you wouldn't be able to adjust it to make the camera level. So this is what having a ball head allows you to do. So as you open it up, not much to it at all. Got some airbags here and just the head itself. Okay. So, let's go ahead and open this up. As you see on the box, there's really nothing to it at all. Just the uh, company name, and then you have 494 RC2 mini ball head. Okay. All right. So next you have a bag, and there's nothing else in the box. So put that to the side, and you have just the head itself and a little uh, instruction manual here. I'm sure there won't be really too much to the instruction manual. Just pretty much showing you how to attach everything, like the quick release plate, uh, lock it, all the stuff that obviously needs explaining for people who aren't familiar with uh, tripod heads. All right, so now just to talk a little bit more about the head itself. Uh, it's completely made of, an, of aluminum. You have a little bit of a rubber type of composite on top here, which keeps the camera steady. Um, supports up to nine pounds, which is pretty, pretty good. Uh, you can use it in any position, like I mentioned before, which is why we specifically wanted a ball head mount uh, to use with our slider. It also has a, a really cool quick release plate to it. It's kind of uh, child proof in a sense, so let's say you have your camera on here and you accidentally hit this, it won't come off. You need to actually hit this and this other little lever down here to uh, release the plate like that. Then another cool thing is when you have this opened up and locked like that, when you put, put the plate back in there, you can literally snap it back in and you know it's secure and not moving anywhere at all, pretty much. Uh, you also have two different types of ways to lock the actual ball head itself. Uh, this knob here is for friction, so this determines you know how hard or easy it is to move once you've unlocked it here. And this is the locking plate. And then this also has a, you know, movable uh, position to it. So if you don't want it in this position, you can just move it to this position to be more out of the way. Uh, so yeah, that pretty much wraps up uh, this unboxing. We also must, must mention that the uh, bottom mount here is a 3 8 mount. Uh, so if you have a slider, like once again the Canova K2 slider, which we just got, the uh, mounting plate for that is a 3 8 mounting plate. So that will go right on top of that, like that, and then the camera will attach here. So it's going to be very, very, very nice of a ball head for us to work with when using that. And uh, definitely can't wait to get to working with it and make some really, really cool videos. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment below, message us, email us, whatever you want to do, and uh, we'll get back to you. So, we'll see you guys next time.